Hey, 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 I'm Neba Nirmal, and I'm a fellow here at SciShow through the AAAS Mass Media Fellows Program. I love discussing all things biology, and today I'm here to tell you about canaries and their immune systems. Unlike humans, domestic canaries don't have the option of social distancing when a member of their flock is ill. But canaries may have evolved a nifty workaround for protecting their populations when disease strikes. Their immune systems automatically kick into high gear just at the sight of a sick bird. And understanding exactly how this immune response works could help researchers understand how diseases spread through populations of canaries and possibly other species, including humans. Until recently, though, it wasn't clear that being around illness could actually trigger a physical response in animals. Researchers knew that various animals changed their behavior in the presence of illness, but that was it. So to explore this question, the authors of a 2021 study conducted an experiment on domestic canaries. First, they infected several canaries with a bacterium that causes respiratory infections. Then they put a cage of healthy canaries in the same room as the infected birds. The healthy birds could see the sick ones, which had visible symptoms like pink eye and lethargy, but their cages were far enough apart to protect them from infection themselves. The team also put a second group of canaries in the room as a control. The only difference was that this group couldn't see the sick birds, thanks to a room divider blocking their line of sight. For almost a month after that, the researchers tracked the health and immune responses of all the canaries. Blood samples showed that none of the healthy birds caught the respiratory infection from the sick birds, as expected. But surprisingly, the immune system of the birds in the experimental group still kicked into high gear. The birds that could see the sick birds had elevated numbers of white blood cells, which the body generates to fight off invaders like bacteria. And they also had higher levels of activated complement proteins in their blood. These proteins are typically activated in an immune response to an infection to burst invading cells. So the birds were responding as if they were sick, even though none of them actually had an infection. Meanwhile, the control group showed no change in their immune systems. These findings suggest that just seeing evidence of sickness in fellow canaries is enough to trigger an immune response in these birds. Researchers hypothesized that this strategy evolved as a way to keep these birds from getting sick, even though they're in such close contact with each other. This early immune response acts as a way of preemptively blocking an infection. Generating more white blood cells and mobilizing more complement proteins can burn a lot of energy, but it allows these birds to reap the benefits of social living while keeping diseases at bay. And canaries may not be unique. In a 2010 study, researchers found that humans' white blood cell activity also ticked up when they just looked at images of disease symptoms. Researchers think this physical response is linked to what's called the human behavioral immune system. This branch of our immune system encompasses all of the behaviors we have that serve as a first line of defense against illness. It's what makes us feel grossed out by dirty places or rotten food, which could potentially make us sick. But in addition to these behavioral responses, the behavioral immune system may be triggering a physical immune response as well. Understanding the subconscious response in canaries and other species could offer us new insight into how illnesses move through populations. And while it's still a ways off, that may eventually help researchers develop new ways of preventing or slowing down the spread of diseases in the future. If you enjoyed this video, catch me on our TikTok for more about weird biology. And thanks for watching this episode of SciShow.